Lost today, special day, James. The 400 EX is up and running today. The 400 EX. It's, it's nice. running fabulous. What's up? What's up? Today's a pretty special day. Let's go check it out. Found us a bucket for the car for it. The yard's not doing so hot. Uh-uh. <laughs> All in one piece, finally. Almost. Almost, yeah. We're still gonna do some touching up. All right, let's uh, start from the beginning. How, how much do you get this thing for? 800 bucks. 800 bucks. Mm -hmm. What year is it? 01. Brand new, brand new whole front plastics, headlight assembly, everything's brand new, never even been ridden before. Jesus. Yeah, so you, what, you got it running last night, you got it all put back together? Pretty much. Yeah, there's yeah. a video, video of that on James' channel. Yes, sir. Yeah, Check we uh, we got it going on ether, and we were <laughs> like, all right, sounds good, you know, timing's all good and everything, so put it back together, put everything on, dump some gas in it, uh, fire it up. So, how long has it been sitting again now? Oh, since I've had it, I don't remember, but it has been sitting not being used for at least 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, barn fun pretty much. Yeah, the guy thought the starter was bad, and so it, what really happened is the cam chain fell off the crankshaft, so the valves were just closed all the time. I don't know why he thought the starter was bad, because it works fine, but yeah. Tore down the whole motor, um, just to make sure, checked everything out, cleaned up the pistons, cleaned all the carbon off, or the valves, I mean, not the pistons. Um, took the side cover off, put the chain back on, put it all back together. Hardest part was trying to set the timing, because it was just, it, you have to be so spot on with it. Yeah, should have called Ryan. Yeah, I ended up putting a bungee cord around the flywheel just to hold it in place while I set it. And it started right up last night? Pretty much, like, I want to say right up, because our, we had to tune it in a little bit, but he was just over here just feathering the throttle, and it just started up, and it idled for about 10 seconds before it died on its own. Let's bump it. We'll bump it. You can see the tires aren't in the best shape. So we're gonna see drift some drifting board. here. It yeah, drift board. Good. All
Dude, that thing gets so much air. I almost broke my ankle. My foot just went like halfway under the back tire. I think I sprained my ankle. We'll have to put it up against the Raptor. Well, here, we'll take a tally. Out of all of our Wellsville trips and off-road trips during the summer, we'll count it up. How many times the Raptor dies, how many times the 400 dies. I don't, even, I don't even know if I'm going to have the Raptor that much longer. Well, I guess it just forfeits then, eh? Nah, we'll do some tests. And then your dad gets pissed at me for ripping up the yard. Yeah. You want to take it down in the woods? Yeah, we can. I'm going to get a straight away with it. Now. All right, let's bump this thing. Fuck. It's so hard to bump this thing because it has bald ass tires. All right.
What's up next for this thing? Get it tuned up properly, get all the bolts in and everything. Yeah. yeah. That's about it. Put some tires on it. It's we're on our way to 10,000. Yeah. We're trying to put out all these videos. It just takes so long to make them. Yeah. We're trying to get <laughs> trying to get one out every week at least. Can't even keep up with the subscribers. Leave a comment. What do you want to see with this? What do you want to see with the Chinese quad? Yeah, we still got the Chinese quad sitting down there. Yeah, Chinese quads chilling in the woods right now. But uh, yeah, just leave a comment. James, what's your channel name? Backstreet Motocross. Backstreet Motocross, check them out. I want to give a shout out to everyone who comments. Got a couple haters mixed in there. Yeah, mm. some excellent. A lot of haters. solid comments from you guys. Yeah, we read all of them, so big shout out to all of our commenters. Um, yeah, I saw a new one today. This one got me. A lot of people love the haggard roasting in the last video, but then this guy goes, Fuck you for trying to talk shit on Haggard Garage. Video was boring and drawn out as fuck, and content in general was lame. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna give a shout out to my boy, what's his name? Col Kobe Stroud, my man. Constructive criticism. Crit criticism. Yeah, That's we got some Haggard Garage fanboys. Yeah. Hey, we're fanboys too, but nothing wrong with calling them out on some of the stuff they do. So what's, what's the next project going to be? Uh, well, we don't really know yet. Something something small, maybe a little pit bike, something like that. Something we can fix up hey, real give us, cheap. Give us some suggestions. <laughs> I wanted to do a side-by-side uh, -side project out of a Cal glowing Kawasaki mule, but... Yeah, that's not too cheap, though. Nah. That's a bigger project. I mean, it there. might be worth it. Maybe we'll do a small project first and then get into some bigger projects. Yeah, James wants to work on something cool. You know, I want a little two-stroke to ride around on because he wants to get rid of the RM. Yeah, I think we need more small, like, little pit bikes and quads and stuff. Yeah, yeah you guys seem to enjoy the pit bikes, so we're going to try and do some more pit bikes. Yeah, it's more stuff with small engines. It's sketchier. You can beat it harder. And, like, yeah. everyone's used to seeing big quads, but you get the little sketchy shit out. Yeah, we can just destroy them and only be out, like, 300 bucks. Yeah. Josh will be back in a couple days, so we'll have more videos with him. He's been doing some work down in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, the haggler will be back eventually. <laughs> he will. Maybe do another Chinese quad video since it is him. It is uh, his quad. So. Oh yeah, he says he wants to. He says he doesn't care if he like if we blow it up or something. Like God. he said, it's pretty much I like half blown up already. <laughs> Lots more bits to come. Tell us what you want to see. comment about how uh, the 400DX sounds like shit. And yeah, I know. We pretty much just threw the car back together. Started it two days ago for the first time in over 10 years. So it's running all right for that, that considered. 